Yo, what's poppin' guys? It's Amaya from the Sabaha Cartel, and in this episode, I'm actually gonna get pretty serious, and I wanna talk about building your team, and mainly I'm talking about the team that you have in real life, alright? Because, you know, I've read some books, obviously, um, in my lifetime. Uh, I actually started getting, like, hardcore into books when I turned, like, seven, no, not 17, when I turned 18, you know, when I was, like, mid-17s mid around there, you know, mainly because, you know, I thought about knowledge and... You know, obviously, the more you learn, the more you earn, like uh, Warren Buffett says. Um, but anyways, wow, that kind of sound, I kind of sound like, like that, that guy in the uh, garage commercial. You know, it's pretty funny because my Salah Speaks videos, uh, that guy's ads always come out in my Salah Speaks videos. But then again, you know, they are videos on entrepreneurship and that guy is an entrepreneur. So, you know, obviously, that's why the ad comes out in there. But anyways, uh, let me just get back to the topic. This is a very serious topic. It's something I want to talk about. Uh, it's something that's very, very true to my heart. And it's pretty much building your team. And uh, this is how I look at it. And I learned this from Napoleon Hill and Earl Nightingale. Most of my uh, success teachings, they come, the, you know, the, the root of all my success teachings, I guess, in a way. You could say that they come from Earl Nightingale and Napoleon Hill because, you know, those are mainly the two dudes that really, really inspired me. Earl Nightingale actually inspired me more than Napoleon Hill. Um, but anyways... Building your team, guys, you know, your team is only as strong, I mean, you are as strong as your team, alright, that's, that's just a fact, that's how I look at it, you know, some people might say that that makes no sense, because if a person in your team's weak, then it's not your fault, and I say it kind of is, alright, and I'm going to give you guys an example, I have a Salvaje Cartel member, that's my team, my team, so Salvaje Cartel, where the hell is Palpatine, I can't see him, I have a Salvaje Cartel member, and uh, he always goes on Snapchat sometimes, or Instagram, and, I don't know, like, sometimes he just drops, like, really, like, whiny comments, right? And I was like, you know what? I, I don't want this energy in my Salvaje Cartel Top 10. The Top 10, Salvaje Cartel Top 10 is literally the Top 10 people in my life that I consider friends. Everybody else out of that list are just acquaintances. You know, acquaintances are those types of people that, you know, like, you talk with them, but guess what? You know, they never really call you or... You know, you just talk to them once in a while, all right? Like, the people in my Salvaje Cartel Top 10 are usually people that I usually call at least two or three times a month, all right? Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, I, I texted my boy, long story short, you know, he was, he kind of is, you know, was, he was kind of acting like a victim, and I sent him a very, very long text, because I have a very strong reputation of sending paragraphs, you know, and this is why I hate texting, because like, dude, I could just call you and tell you this over the phone, but everybody, no one nowadays loves to talk on the phone, except the number one elite member of the Salvaje Cartel Top 10, my boy Miguel, he actually likes talking on the phone because guess what he's actually fucking smart okay like why should i text you something when i can just mess when i can just call you and tell you seriously people stop texting so much and call all right it's all about calling anyways whatever that depends on the type of person you are everybody has their own opinions it's okay let me get back to my story so i inspired my boy and i took him out of that depression type state you know like he told me, you know what, bro, you're fucking right. I'm going to stop being such a fucking victim. And I'm going to start standing the fuck up and being so fucking dramatic. All right. And you know what? He's fucking doing that because I fucking inspired him. And I fucking told him, listen, bro, what you're doing, it ain't cool. You know, it ain't sexy. All right. You got to be strong, man. You know, shit's going to get tough sometimes. The road to success is not easy. You're going to meet a lot of fucking people that are going to fuck you up. You're also going to meet people that are going to, you know, raise you up. And you're going to have some challenges. And those challenges are going to be tough. All right, so, you know, you got to fucking deal with it. Guys, think about it, man. Let me give you guys an example right here. Uh, think about God for a minute, right? When you think about God in a way, you know, everything that's created in the world, I guess, was created by God. But guess what? Everything. The word everything, you know, and if God really did create everything, everything also includes negativity. You know, everything also includes negative stuff. All right, that's something that you guys need to get in your head, you know. If God really is everything, then God is also negativity. And why is God negativity? Because the negativity is to help you grow. The negativity, the bad experiences in life, all that stuff is to help you grow as a person. All right, that's something you guys really need to understand. And anyways, a long story short, the point that I'm trying to make here is that if your team is weak-minded, then guess what? That's going to affect you. That's going to affect your team's performance and your performance as a leader. All right, so always make sure that your teammates are as strong as you or even stronger than you. You know, that's also pretty, pretty good. 
So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys like that rant at the beginning of the episode. I don't really like doing these motivational rants on my Hero vs. Villains Live, but uh, fuck it. You know, I mainly save the rants for Salvaje Speaks. And if you guys are, haven't seen Salvaje Speaks, you definitely should because Salvaje Speaks is just straight up fire. It's me spitting fire 24-7. I love that series, it's my favorite series, in fact, that's the number one series that I have for people to see when they actually uh, check out my channel for the, for the first time. Let me uh, lock my phone because I actually had it unlocked. You know, I ask myself sometimes, why does my iPhone run out of battery so quickly? Well, the battery's messed up, that's one thing. And the second thing is that I always have my phone unlocked, like, I never have it, have it locked, so. Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, ruining the battery even more by never locking it. But uh, it's all good. Hopefully you guys like Snapchat. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually a Snapchat guy. I, uh, I do tend to Snapchat from time to time. Sometimes I don't really Snapchat for a couple of weeks. And that was very random. You guys see what I did right there? I was talking about some random thing. And then I just started talking about Snapchat. That's how live commentaries go right here at the Salvaje Cartel. <sighs> Who the fuck is up here? Oh, Palpatine. Oh, shit. Damn it, bro. That guy, he got lucky as hell. Yeah, he got really, really lucky, because if I would have gotten him with that rocket, I would have at least done some damage. It wouldn't have mattered, though, because there wasn't a lot of people around Palpatine, which means he was going to get his health back again. Yeah, I, this map, it's really, really slow, man. Honestly, I never really... Well, not, I'm not going to say never, because I have, but... I don't know, I feel like every time I play on this map, the ma you know, the matches take probably, like, 20 minutes. I remember episode 2, or episode 3 of Hero vs. Venice Live was 20 minutes, and it was actually on this map. My aim is kind of a little off. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting the hang of it. I've actually been recording for 30 minutes now, which is fucking awesome. You know, I love recording this series. Like I've said many, many times, this is one of my favorite series to do on YouTube. I wanted to do Mayhem Clash Live on Destiny, but the reality is that I don't want to deal with all the bullshit that Destiny is uh, having. Uh, and honestly, there really isn't a lot of bullshit in Destiny. I'm not going to lie. Let's kill this. Fuck. Alright, that sucked. I really, really thought I was going to be able to get Boba Fett in there, but I couldn't. I'm going to see if I can get him with a homing shot. Come on, bro. Oh, my God. No. I would have... It was that Stormtrooper. That Stormtrooper kind of uh, gave us a hard path. But, yeah, if I would have uh, got activated explosive shot and shot him, maybe I could have taken him out. Yeah, I have a feeling this might be a long match, guys. This might be a long match, so uh, hopefully you guys are eating some cereal, because that's what I do when I'm watching the series. You know, I get my cereal ball. Look at that. Do you guys see that snake? Not a lot of people know that about this map, but uh, yeah, there is a snake there. Why are you not coming out, bro? You, you're trying to make it look bad, right? There we go. Anaconda don't. My Anaconda don't. Alright, let's keep on moving, man. Come on, son. Get out of here, bro. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I really need to drink some water. Oh, look, Palpatine's here. Let's take him out. Oh, that's right. My star cards aren't working. Why? Because EA Star Wars doesn't want to fix a glitch. Honestly, I really think the this glitch would be so easy to fix. So they just don't want to fucking fix it. All right, who's here? I'm going to try to talk less during the rest of this episode, guys, because... Uh, yeah, my voice is getting kind of sore. I think I'm going to do one more match after this, maybe, and then I'm just going to stop. Stop, bro. Follow me on the road to more success, Vader. Ah, I think he was trying to teabag me. Alright, we got 2-1-2. Two two. This guy that's playing better, he's kind of playing smart. He's trying to flank the team, get us from our spawn. Boba Fett's down, that's a huge threat. I really don't like this map for Boba Fett, mainly because, uh, you know, they just fly around the freaking trees and stuff, and it makes it really annoying. And look at that. We just won this round. I thought this was going to be a long round. That's crazy. All right, three. We need two more rounds to win. This is a pretty good lobby, man. Wow. I, I think so far in the series, I've only had a total of three or four defeats so far. It would be really funny if in the Naruto Ultimate New Storm series, I would have uh, uh, three victories. It's, and, you know, pretty much a lot of, like, losses. There's 20 episodes so far. Like, as of today, there's 20 episodes in the playlist. So that would be, like, what, 17 losses and 3 wins? Oh, my God. I really hope that doesn't happen. Like I said, I'm kind of worried. Uh, like I said some episodes back, I'm kind of worried about, you know, Storm 4 because... I don't know, bro. Like, 
Like, for example, if, I, if I'm doing bad in Battlefront, people could still watch it. Because in a way, you know, you could see me, you know, do a little better and stuff. But in Naruto, it's like, well, if the person really isn't doing that well, then it's going to be kind of boring. I don't know. But I don't know, bro. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I'm really excited for Naruto. It's, it's a new experience. I'm not really good at it. So it's kind of also a new learning experience as well. Where the hell are they popping, bro? Please, man. Oh. No, no, no. Okay, good. I didn't want to waste my lucky shot. Let's waste it on this bitch right here. Get out of here, son. He's not really my son, but I just called him son because I felt like it. You know what I mean, guys? All right. You're out of here, too. I'm kind of getting my aim back. I'm getting my groove back. And wow, just when I'm about to get my groove back, bro, I have to stop recording because of my damn voice. I think I'm going to drink some water and just uh, do a couple of more episodes because uh, this is a great lobby. And what I, trust me, right now, it's, it's not that easy to get into a good lobby. We have Boba Fett left. Wow, thank you. I just wasted my luggage. I, should, I, I had a chance to cancel it there, but I didn't. See, watch. I think Boba Fett's around here flying around the freaking palm trees and shit. I bet, I bet he's up here, man. I'm telling you. People just like to be straight up bitches with Boba Fett. And it's okay, man. Like, sometimes I run... Look at that. Look at that. He's fucking flying. Sometimes I run away with Boba Fett, but most of the time I stay on the offensive. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna go down at some point, man. Get out of here, son. I'm hand solo. I never shoot first. Come on, bro. I need to get him. Yes, got him. You're going down, son. Where are you? Oh, you're dead, dude. You're dead. And I got the experience. I thought Luke was going to get him with his lightsaber. He was just going to freaking scratch him. We're doing pretty good, guys. Look at that. We already have 4.8K. So that's a great, uh, a great, free this is a great freaking match so far. Hmm. How, how am I 15 and 7 and this guy has more speed than me? I guess it's because he probably got some uh, hero damage off. But yeah, see, I can't use my star cards. I can't use my thermal imploder. All right, man, it's all good. It's all good. I said a couple of minutes ago, let me stop talking so much. And pretty much what I've done since I said that is talk even more. But hey, that's me, you know. Whatever. Whatever. All right, let's flank these guys. Everybody, like, I really don't like it when people do that. They just stay camping. At the entrance of that ship, it's kind of annoying. I do have scouts, so when I'm running, I can be uh, seeing the enemy minimap. This gives me a huge advantage. Huge advantage. Not a lot of people are aware of how good scout is. I think it's the only trait to have, honestly. Alright, Boba Fett's down. Hopefully this guy doesn't freaking fly around. Okay, I did die already, so I can use my star cards now. Where is he, man? My voice just cracked. Hello, well, did you guys hear that? Fuck. <laughs> I knew I was dead there, man. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna throw this thermal imploder in the air and just hope to get a kill. And if I do, that would be fucking amazing. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it, did they kill Han Solo? Come on. They can't win this round. I can't believe it. Guys, it's a curse. This map gives you long matches. And I'm, I'm okay with that. More XP for me, man. Look at that. I'm going to be able to get to 5k. And I get to be a hero. This might, this is going to get interesting, actually. Let me see what my team's going to do. If they go on middle, I guess I'll just go over the ship. Okay. I guess they're going to go on middle. Let me see. What are you going to do here? Hmm... Okay, good. They're playing offensively. So I'm gonna follow these two guys. And if anything, I'll just run back. Dude, this is great, dude. Hell yeah. Look at that. I got the entire team with me. And Han Solo. This is great. I think we're I think Vader tried flanking around. I really like how Luke runs in this game. It's extremely quickly. Oh dude, you're going down. Come on, come on. Damn it. Not even a single hit, bro. All right, there we go. Trooper Bane finishing off uh, Vader. Where are these guys, bro? Oh, shit. 
All right, you're going down, son. Wow. Total miss. Oh, dude, you're dead. Get out of here. Oh, my God. That's perfect. And I got the finishing 